hello and uh, happy new year here's another video um, we're quickly going to look at another one of the transition effects that turns up throughout the track now this one happens twice just before uh, each of these bridge sections so it's a transition effect that leads us into the bridge um, this is what it sounds like with the whole track <laughs> Uh, okay, and this is what it sounds like on its own. So we're quickly going to have a look at how to create that effect. Um, just like one of the other transition effects we looked at in a previous video, it's based on a noise generator rather than a waveform. Uh, and for this one I've used the ES2 because there's a couple of modulation functions that we need in this synth. Um, so let's have a look. What I've got here is uh, an empty track with the new ES2 and I've just selected from the tutorial settings this very basic patch uh, analog saw initialize just to give me a basic sound to start with horrible so what we're going to do is switch off oscillator 1 come down to oscillator 3 and move this uh, triangular plotter down so that we can hear this oscillator and switch this one on and I'm going to move this dial round to noise. So there's our basic noise sound that we then have to shape uh, with a couple of functions in the synth. So using these modulation slots, first of all, pick an empty slot and we're going to set cutoff number two as our target. <coughs> okay, in the filter section over here, with this blend control, you can see it's all the way over to cutoff number two, filter number two. Uh, and I'm going to turn this down to somewhere around there. Okay, if I play some notes now, you can hear we've got some movement, some modulation into the sound. Um, I want it to be quicker though, so LFO1 over here, I'm going to adjust the rate to about that. And next, I'm going to set up an envelope to control the speed of this LFO, so the modulation speed changes in the sound. So in my next modulation slot, um, well, this is the one we're going to go for grayed out at the moment, so just choose any target. And then your source, you want to set to envelope 2. And there we go. Select LFO1 rate as my target to be controlled by envelope 2. Uh, remember, you've got to push these green flags up to adjust the amount, otherwise you're not going to hear any of the effect. Um, so let's have a listen to that. Now you can hear the LFO starts quite quick and gets slower over the course of the, the note. Okay, um, next thing we're going to do is add some resonance over here in the filter. And we're going to push the distortion right up. We want soft distortion, but we're going to push that right up. And one other thing I'm going to do is just to switch off this modulation slot. Um, this was part of the original patch, the analog saw patch that we loaded up. But I don't want this envelope to be doing anything with the filter cutoff. Um, so I'm just going to bypass this slot here. Cool. So that's it. So in terms of the note input, um, as I say, this effect only happens twice in the track. So I've just got a note that is one bar long. Find it. There we are. Uh, so note there's one bar long, just to bring us into these bridge sections, uh, and that's it. <laughs>